school. Nigel is the manager at Elite Sports, a small sports club that provides members with access to personal training and multiple sporting activities. Nigel takes data from applications form filled out by potential customers and enters it in the system for effective record keeping. So, people are filling out application forms and they enter it into the system. So, that means you have paper going to a computer. Here's data entry. One type of error that could be could, could be occurred and present happening. You could have an um, error of um, transcription or transposition. Yeah, pick one. Usually transcription errors means that you can't understand the person handwriting, so you spell the name wrong. So like you put the name as blah 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 and you'd be like, okay, that is John. When, when really and truly it's John me. Or transposition, it could be the numbers one, two, four, three, and then the person put one, four, two, three. Because they mixed up the two and the four. So that's transposition and trans trans. Alright. Um if you have trans if you have typographical Typographical may for transcription, but the, the syllabus is very clear. There's transposition and transcription. There's no there's no word called typographical, but you could you could do that if you want. Describe two verification checks that could be performed when entering data from application forms. Verification, remember, is the difference between verification and validation. Verification is making sure that what you wanted to put in is always there, so you have double entry and you have visual. Double entry is um, entering the data twice to ensure they match up before you store it. Store slash accept it. Visual is reading over the original form allowed to ensure what you put in the system matches the form. Oh, you're not reading over the original form, so you're reading over the inputted data, sorry. Inputted data allowed to ensure that what you put in the system matches the form. All right, cool. Um, yeah, that's validation. That's verification. Now, students normally confuse verification and validation. Validation is range check and presence check and all those other checks and all them kind of things. Yeah, that is all the validation checks. But verification is just to make sure that you are verifying what the person said that they will put in is actually what they did. If you put in range check and double and, um, and consistency check and reasonableness and all that, you'll get it wrong because that is not verification. That's validation you're talking about. The following spreadsheet. Oh my goodness, only one spreadsheet question. Must be nice. Must be so nice. Let's see how bad the spreadsheet question was. The following spreadsheet shows money collected from members for training on the sports club for one week. Name the spreadsheet function that will display the number of cells in the range B3 to B10. The number of cells as count B3 to B10. No, that, that look for tennis as count if. Because you're counting only if you have tennis. Count if. Equal count if. Right? Because you're, you're looking for tennis. So you have to count if it's tennis. So they just say name the function that will display the number of cells. So if you name the function, you can count it. But for me, I'm not risking it. I go into... Uh, I'm going to write it out. So count if B3 to B10, comma, tennis. You don't have to do this because it's one mark, but if I was to obtain it, I'd make the examiner feel like, you know, you have a, you have a little skill now, you know? do let the examiner, do let the examiner something, right? I write the formula that I'll be using set an E3 to calculate the amount due. E3, calculate the amount due, would be hours by cost power. Yeah. So E3 would be C3 by D3 equals C3 multiplied by D. Am I correct? We multiply in C3, which is here, by D3, which is there. Cool. The if function performs a logical comparison between two values in a spreadsheet. Describe the syntax of it. Oh my goodness. They said describe the if, you know. Let me, let me, let me, let me explain something to all you. I live in with a higher understanding of life. I like this, I like this. You know why? Because the students that really, really, really know their work will get a chance to show that they know their work well. They'll get a chance. So how I would do this, I'll be like equal if um, condition, if, I don't know, B3 is greater than 10, then yes, no, All right? So I'll put if statement and I'll be like, okay, this is the um, function, the computer, expects this here is the condition to check for this is if condition is true display that and this one is if condition is false display that now you could write that in a paragraph if you want and break down each part 
but it's four marks so clearly they want you to break down this part here the condition part here that part there and that part there four marks excellent question brilliant question if you wrote it out in a paragraph cool but it's just a little easier so if you wrote it out in a paragraph and you wrote these four things it consists of the function which is one 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 thing so you write down that it has the the actual function which is the command as one then you, you follow up and be like, then you have to put in the condition. Then you have to put in what happens if it's true, then what happens if it's false. If you write that in a, if you wrote that in a, in a paragraph, should be good. So, um, yeah. Identify both the primary field and secondary field used to sort the data in this table. Okay, so let's look at the table. What it most likely have to be the primary field is the first sort and then the second sort is, you can see it inside. So this is definitely, all Bs are sorted here. All basketball but if you have B then you have B then S and then T all right so this is definitely a sort here um, after we sorted each one how did they sort it otherwise did they sort the numbers no the numbers aren't sorted here because it's eight six or nine nine the numbers aren't the numbers are sorted so cost per hour looking like it's sorted also but let's look at the names most likely it's sorted by names is it by name in descending order l p t c c you know this is not, not sorted j d c it could be sorted in reverse which is j c d j but then if you choose the reverse the reverse wouldn't work here because you have c then t then p so that means it's sorted by basketball then by cost per hour sorted by activity then cost power because you can see the cost power sorted in um in all right so we'll go with activity then cost power those are the only two things are sorted so all you have to do is to break out each individual <laughs> so first thing they sort by is by activity so they have all the b's then they have the s and then the t this is clearly sorted in an alphabetical order by group b c t and then the basketball now is sorted in cost per hour in descending order so the primary field is activity and then cost per hour if you get this correct if you get this question correct like if you got this question correct yeah sometimes my genius is it's almost frightening i made a mistake the mistake is i grouped badminton and basketball together because i thought all of them were just bees so very sorry yeah that's my bad there so if you group them by that badminton session hours would be eight and six that's one group there i'm gonna just take off all the um all the markings to make it all easier for you to see yeah if you group badminton you see the eight and the six that's one one group in there 12 and nine is one group in there swimming will be by itself which is four and tennis will be 12 to six on this group there so yeah it is session hours Cost per hour would still, still be applicable also because cost per hour is 1300 here and 1100 here. So, yeah. But the better answer is definitely session hours. Cost per hour would work also, but session hours is better. So, yeah. I'll put cost per hour as a second answer. So, we put session hours. And cost. Cost power is a weak answer. All right, cool. That would be that would be one fix there. So really, the coolest thing about these past few videos is that I get to explain while doing a question. So a lot of you would learn things that you never saw before just by me working on the question. But sometimes I can't explain every single thing, and I don't know. You might need help explaining. So three zero eight eight seven nine nine. What's up, that? and find out what we have available. It might be a crash course, it might be a class. Remember when you join my classes, all of the classes are recorded. So you'll get to see every single thing that we did from the start of the syllabus. So if you're not sure about certain questions and you're not sure because the explanations I give in the past papers are a little too fast, then what's up the number? See what we can do for you. If not, hope you enjoy the videos and hope you learn a lot while you go through these past paper answers, right? Cool. So again, it cannot be sorted by member name because LPTC, that is not sorted in any direction. And if you go the opposite direction, 
CTPL. Not sorted in any anyway. As impossible. So you can't say member name. So you had to go to cost power. So we go to activity. Mm -hmm. Cost power. Alright, part C. The following pseudocode was created to generate total funds received from member payments. Draw flowchart. That's it. Ooh. 10 marks to get a flowchart, boy. Food. Food. Alright, there you go. Easy. That's total equals zero. That is a, par a rectangle. Print enter the amount due for the member. That is a parallelogram. Um, enter amount. I'm not writing all the whole thing. Read amount due. That is a parallelogram. Then we have a while loop, which is going to be a diamond. And the diamond is checking for amount due not equal to zero. Question mark. Is amount due not equal to zero? If the answer is yes, you have some stuff to do. You have to do total. Again, if you watch my algorithms playlist, you would have you would have destroyed us. Alright. Then we have print enter amount blah 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 due for next member. Read amount due, which will be this. And then the while ends. So as soon as our while loop ends, you are trying to drag this arrow back up like here. You get the arrow back up there. Then if the answer is no, you're going to just print the total out. Blah, blah, blah. It's total. And then you're going to hit stop. Yeah, that's that there. Let's put it on. All right. So start. Set total to zero as a rectangle. Enter the amount due. Read the enter the amount. Read amount due. Yeah. While amount due is not equal to zero. Yes. Total is equal to total plus whatever, whatever, whatever. Da, da, da. Read amount due. Right. How is this 10 marks? I am not 100% sure. Let me see if I can break down the marks for you. Let's go for the diamond. One mark for start and stop. One mark for the assignment statement. One mark for the read. That's three. One mark for... No. You got one mark for read and the two of them. One mark for the diamond. One mark for the yes. One mark for the no. One mark for the total. One mark for the read again. Next mark for the outside here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For the ten is boy. I cannot figure out why I gave it ten marks. Or oh, one mark for the arrow looping back for the while. The while, yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's good. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so don't forget, you can go and fill out the form. That's if you want to do IT on computer science at the form six level and you want to do it as an extra subject. I will encourage you to do so because if you like IT, yeah, if you like it. Obviously, you're here because you like IT, right? Or you just wanted to do new marks. But because you like it and you want to do IT and computer science as an extra subject, fill out the link in the, in, the, um, in the top of the chat. Overall, I really love this paper. This is one of the best IT papers I've seen in a long, 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 long time. Like the January paper was good, but this one was way better. Not because it was easy. It wasn't an easy paper. It was a paper that challenged your understanding. And I'm all about making sure you understand the IT instead of just, right?